ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله شهادة تنجينا من عذاب النار ويدخلنا الجنة من غير سابقة عذاب ولا عقاب وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاد حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذين يؤتون ما أتوا وقلوبهم وجلة ويقول رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم الصيام والقرآن يشفعان للعبد يوم القيامة يقول الصوم أي ربي من أعطوه الطعام فتشفعني فيه ويقول القرآن منعته النوم بالليل فشفعني فيه فيقال فيشفعان رواه أحمد أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام All praise to Allah All praise to Allah The one, the only, the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe And he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Is his messenger True mercy sent to us If you follow his path, inshallah, we'll be in Jannah. أما بعد, a visitor came and he's leaving. I found a poem that I would like to start in Arabic, inshallah, we'll proceed after that. It's just one poem. بالأمس أش أقبل مشرق الميلاد شهر التقاتي وموسم العباد واليوم شد إلى الرحيل متاعه قد زود الدنيا خير الزاد لا أوحش الرحمن منك منازلا ذكراك تعلو في الربا والوادي It's a poem saying that Ramadan is leaving us Ramadan a visitor Subhanallah I started before Ramadan two months saying that Ramadan is coming Ramadan is coming and now we're saying Ramadan is leaving If you love someone If I love you, if I love your wife, if you love your kid and he's traveling, what do you do? What do you do? You go and hug him and try to take him to the airport and take sure that you use every second of this time because he's leaving. And you don't know when you will see him again. How can you do that? <laughs> Still we have time? Yes, we have time. Subhanallah, we have still a lot of time. We have six days and six nights still to go. Six days and six nights. What's the benefits? What should we do? First, <clears throat> I need to talk about the ayah I recited. I recited. Our mother Aisha said, recited the ayah, wajila. This is the sinners. What does it mean first? If you do something and you're scared that you'll be punished, is this the sinners? And the Prophet said, no. No, they are not the sinners. Who are they, O oh Prophet? The people who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're scared that their deeds will not be accepted. Do we do this? Usually I give examples in real life. You go to the test, any test, any one of us definitely went to test. Exams and when you go to the exam you pray to Allah to help you right and you study a lot Right, but before the exam you have a headache headache You cannot concentrate before the exam something happens you cannot do it before the exam something happens to you You cannot do it. That's why we pray to Allah that nothing will happen and Allah will accept it in full not only that Not only that, we need to, we asked him to reward us more on it. How much reward we can get? A month for a month? A month for 10? A month for 100? On the six nights, you can be one of the people who are forgiven, pardoned from the hellfire. How much is this worth for anyone? Every one of us. 
How can you do that? Come at night. Come at night. Ramadan didn't end yet, alhamdulillah, and we're still alive. We have time still. Come at night. Stand in lines. Use every second. Pray with the Muslimin. Make sure that every second from now on counts. The last, always, the last finishing, always in the race, if you are an athlete, always they tell you the race is the last part of the race, is the winner part. The last part of the race. Push hard. I know everyone is tired. I didn't sleep five, six hours, four hours a day. I'm tired. We're exhausted. I know. But to win, to win, you have to do it. You want to be a winner? Come. Six nights. First thing, you have, you're free. You're pardoned from the hellfire. Your, your name is written. You are pardoned from the hellfire. Does this for a specific people or a specific time or a specific space? No. Every one of us, everyone in this world, every night, every night, every night in Ramadan, your pardon. That's the first reward. Wallahi, when you hear this, how many rewards? If you go and apply for a prize, you get one reward, you don't get the other. You take your name from out of the ballot and you cannot get the second one. The second one, the second prize, 83 years of ibadah in one night. 83 years of ibadah in one night means that you're praying and fasting and doing no sins for 83 years. This is one night. Any night. Some people aim again on 27th. There is no proven hadith stating that it's the night of 27th. I know the masjid will be full to the door and I have no problem with that on the night of 27th. But the problem is which 27 we're talking about. It's not 27 or our 27. Think about it, okay? It's just a, a think about it. <coughs> then, Laylatul Qadr, and uh, the best part is giving in the sake of Allah, giving on the say, to the say, to the poor, giving to the needy, giving give give. The Prophet used to give. What else? Ahtikaf, try to come at night. Some people say, like, I cannot sleep at the, in the high ground. I, I, I need to sleep on my bed. No problem. No problem. Come from Asha prayer and leave after Fash. With Nia Ahtikaf. And come, you, you, inshallah, work. That, that, if you cannot do it, come. Try to earn. Try to work. Some people say, no, 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 you have to stay the 10 days. If I stay, I stay only for five days. That is not accepted. Two days is not accepted. It's accepted. Come, help yourself. It's a feast that everyone needs to join. And you will be the only one to be blamed that you didn't join. So please, come. Come with the intention of that you will do it. I didn't finish the Quran. Six days, six days and six nights still. You can do it. Start opening the Quran. You have time. Allah gave you more time. Let's use the time and read and enjoy the Quran. This is for the coming six days. How about after Ramadan? After Ramadan, we have Eid. The Eid part I'll talk after in the next khutbah, inshallah, second khutbah. But now I'm talking about what's after Ramadan. What should we do? Is the ibadah ended, Ramadan finished, Alhamdulillah, Allah is not, is, is, the, is the creator of Ramadan and no more? Allah is the creator of all 12 months. All the 12 months are Allah's creation. We did hard. By the way, Ramadan is a witness on you. You read the Quran at least once a month, at least Ramadan once. If you tell me that you cannot read one page a day after that, I have a problem. Ramadan is a witness. <coughs> you prayed eight rak'ah every night. If I tell you to pray the sunnah after Aisha two rak'ah, you say not, Ramadan is a witness. You're giving in the sake of Allah in Ramadan. And after Ramadan you don't give, Ramadan is a witness. That you did it. You can do it. You have the power to do it. But sometimes 
our shaitan comes and says, okay, you did well in Ramadan, come on, relax now. Imagine that you're building a home. Imagine, just imagine with me, you're building a home and you're inviting me, inviting someone to this home. After you finish, okay, what do you think about this home? Oh, oh let's break this wall. Oh, let's destroy this washroom. Oh, no, 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 this is the bedroom is bad. For 11 months, you're doing that. And then comes next Ramadan. Oh, let's fix that now. Why? Instead of fixing, build another house. Build another room. Enjoy staying in the house. What I mean by the house is the good deeds you used in Ramadan. You controlled your tongue. Our worst enemy. Our tongues. The Prophet said, Le Mu'az, Takilatka ummuka ya Mu'ad. Your mother is, you're an orphan, you die. Why, O Prophet? Your tongue will be questioned and everything your tongue would say. You controlled your tongue in Ramadan. If someone fights with you, say, Allah many time, I will not do it. 30 days, 29 days, 30 days, you are trying your best to control the tongue. Now, after that, it's time to go free, go wild, let's enjoy, let's talk. No, still you are under control, you train now. Imagine you're training, you're, everyone here is a professional, and you train for some time, you're a doctor, you're an engineer, and you train for a month, and after a month, say, I didn't learn anything. Sorry, what happened? They will take the license back, right? You will take out your license. You learn the new thing, new technique. Then you have to use it. <laughs> control this. Wallahi, if we control this, we will be all in Jannah. How from the hadith? What the main thing that takes the people to the hellfire? Except the tongue. Except the tongue. Hold it. Four guards for the tongue. Four guards Allah created. Two teeth and two lips. Stop. When they count on Abu Bakr, how many word, dunya words he used, they can count the dunya words. How about religion words? Ganna words? A lot. A lot of words. Use it. You have a lot of time. Use it. Use the words. But in Jannah, Jannah way. Imagine that I will not say the angel. I will not say me. I will not say your brother. I'm saying the kid. Because usually when, when a young kid comes in, everyone is a little bit, oh, there is a kid in the room. If a young kid is standing and you say the word, will you accept him hearing it or her hearing it? <coughs> simple. Just a simple test for everyone. If you're looking at internet on a site and your young son, young daughter standing beside you, can you look at it? Now it's Ramadan, I will not see bad things. I will not do bad things. After Ramadan, huh? you did the crash course. What are you going to do? Are you, gonna, are you ready not to do it? I'm not saying me or someone or a guard or a police officer. No, 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 no. I'm saying a young kid looking at you. Will you do it? If the answer is yes, then proceed. Answer is no, think again. Think again. Your doing is wrong. Ramadan is here for training and Ramadan is leaving us. Inshallah we'll talk about Eid and Inshallah we'll talk about celebration and Inshallah we'll talk about enjoyment. May Allah accept and do everything good to us. Inshallah may Allah reward all of us. Aqulu qawri hadha wa astaghfiru alaykum wa astaghfiru ya fawzan mustaghfiru. Can I ask everyone to move forward, please? Gazakum Allah khair. In alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'afiru wa nasta'adhi wa na'udhu billahi min shuri anfusina wa sayyati a'malina amma ba'd. What's after Ramadan? Ramadan ended. Let's talk about what's after Ramadan and let's then talk about Eid, inshallah. First, fasting six of Shawwal. The Prophet said, Man saama Ramadan, thumma adba'ahu sittu min Shawwal, fakana ma saama dhahr, au kama qara alayhi salatu wa salam. If you fast Ramadan and you fast six days after that, is if you fasted your whole life, how? Simple, a month is equal to 10. 
because the hasana is equal to 10 hasanat and six days equal 60. This is another two months, it's 12 months. If you do that every year as you fasted the whole life. Now you are, you can do it, but with one restriction. There are five days in our lives we shouldn't fast. I hope this is clear to everyone because everyone said, I'll fast the second day of Ramadan. And after Ramadan, next day. No. Next day is Eid. Eid, you shouldn't. It's haram to fast that day. It's haram. It's haram to fast that day. Eid al Fitr has one day. Eid al Adha has four days. Never fast this day. The Eid al Fitr is what's coming is Friday. This Friday is haram to fast. And Eid al Adha. The day of Eid and three days after it. Don't fast these days. Second, what should you do after that? We keep on cherry, we keep, keep on reading the Quran, we keep on trying our best to be good. Anyway, let's talk about Eid. Eid is coming. And Eid is a celebration day. SubhanAllah, we worship Allah, we take hasanat. We celebrate, we take hasanat. We uh, get our fasting, we take hasanat. We break our fasting, we take hasanat. How come? What's the last one? It's the sunnah of the Prophet in the day of Eid, on in the day of Eid, to break your fast in three or more dates. Inshallah, we'll put a box here. Inshallah, on that day. You have to eat. You have to. It's a sunnah of the Prophet. You have to eat three dates, at least, or more. After, after Fajr, imagine when you come to us here and tell yeah, remaining two minutes, are you ready? Stop eating or drinking. We stop. No eating or drinking uh, 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 after Fajr Azan. Now, an eight day, we ask you, after Fajr Azan, you have to eat. Even though you don't, uh, usually on that day, no one can eat. No one, because you're used to fasting. Your stomach is not working that good. But still, it's a command. You be rewarded on that day if you fast, if you break your fast. Second, <coughs> make takbir. When is the takbir starts? From the maghrib of Thursday. From the maghrib of the night below, before. In Eid al-Fitr, from the maghrib of the night before. And inshallah, we'll talk about the hukm of Eid al-Adha later, inshallah. The maghrib of the night before. From maghrib until you come to pray. Eid. From the Maghrib until you come to pray Eid. Then what? If you're driving or coming from away, go from another. Sometimes I, I, I wonder of that. What, why is this sunnah? I can't understand it. But really, do it. I read it in all the books. Do it. It's a sunnah. Maybe later we'll know it. But still, we have Rabbi the Prophet said that if you come from away, go from another. Always do that. I know this is a hard one, special for the, our youth, but inshallah, it will be nice for them. Take a shower on that day. I know it's hard, but give it as your kids. It's a sunnah of the Prophet to make it Come on, let's make us. Let's do it. Let's take a shower on that day, inshallah. Huh? Well, this is the sunnah of the Prophet. Who to come to the prayer? Everyone. Everyone should come. Even. The ladies that they don't pray, yes, bring everyone. Kids who are young, yes, bring everyone. Toddlers, bring everyone. Old people, bring everyone. Everyone should come to it. This is a celebration about us, about our glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He made us finish Ramadan. And you say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, the chanting that is known, inshallah, from Maghrib again until you pray Eid, inshallah. Finally, two things, inshallah, or three things. One, Sadaqatul Fitr. Sadaqatul Fitr is $10, inshallah. You can put it in a box for everyone in your house. Everyone you're accountable for. Some of the ulama said, even if you have a young, your, your wife is pregnant. Give ten dollars for for the pregnant, for the oh, the baby inside. Even if you don't know who is he or she, still some of the ulama. I'm not saying that I follow that or I don't. Some of the ulama said yes. Some of the ulama say no, because he's not born yet. Give and give charity, inshallah. T 
to Salatul Eid here, inshallah, in this place, it will be having four Eid prayers. Inshallah, 6, 8, 10, uh, 9.45, and 11.15. Inshallah, hopefully, 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 I'll see everyone on time. Because we will start on time. This means on the dot. Inshallah, when this watch says 6, Allahu Akbar. 8, Allahu Akbar. 9.45, and don't blame me, don't come running, brother, wait. I'm not. Because let's stick to the rules. Subhanallah, we are the ummah of the time. Everything is by time. And still, we talk, okay, it's 9.45 means 10. No, 9.45 means 9.45. 11.15 means 11.15. People come in Jummah prayer, and you see them coming until now. Oh, brother, you know, it's 1.15, still I have 1.45, and hopefully you know, the sheikh will come late. No. Why you depend on your, on this? If you're going to meet a manager, do you come late? If you have a surgery, because I see some doctors here, and they give the surgery at 7 o'clock, you come 7.30. Imagine with me. Imagine with me, I'm the khatib, and I come now. I think everyone will be losing Ramadan here. Because why you're late? Imagine, just imagine, just imagine. But anyway, subhanallah. The last thing, inshallah, let's enjoy, enjoy Ramadan. We created, inshallah, there's a festival on Saturday. Try to come, try to enjoy. It's a beautiful, inshallah, day. We're trying our best to make it as a fun day as possible to everyone. Ramadan, Eid, is the day that we chant, we enjoy, we go outside. If you have any plans, take your kids. Plan to ask your kids to take off on that day. I always say that from the day one I came to this country. Try your best to take off that day, if you can. Call your man, even I, I, I have some youth who are in medical school and they send the requisition. We need to take off on that day. And they are approved, by the way. They are approved because it's our holiday, come on. Every holy, every religion, they ask for their day. Why we don't? Try, try your best. So it will not hurt anyone to ask. Sometimes we are scared to ask. Ask. Ask and make sure that you ask firmly. I want to, to come on that day. I'll take off on that day. If your youth are in school, I'll take off on that day. Please, I need to take off, I need to enjoy. Even if you're going to stay home. But definitely, I'll ask you to come in. Try to come, enjoy with your, enjoy with your family. Take them outside. Make them a fun day. Plan, plan. Subhanallah, we plan. We plan everything in our life. We plan to buy a car. We plan to buy a house. We plan, and in our celebration days, we keep it as as it goes. Plan, plan everything in life. Plan to enjoy your Eid. What are you gonna do? You'll give. Maybe ch uh, give money to your kids, give new clothes, take them out, maybe to go to the lake. Enjoy whatever you can. And still, remember, prayer doesn't drop on that day. Plan to pray. Always prayer stands. We have a Jummah prayer here. At the same time, we didn't change anything on the prayer times. Nothing changes, inshallah. On the second day, like I said, Saturday, we're having a whole day of celebration because we couldn't go to the park. We're planning here, inshallah, a big day, a big day for everyone, inshallah. Hopefully, we'll see all the beautiful faces, inshallah. Let's finish, inshallah, to wrap up. Ramadan, we still have six days and six nights. Try to come, try to enjoy the last six days and six nights. Try to read the Quran. More. Hasanat here are, are not, I cannot say 10 or 15 or 20 or 700. I cannot say that. Because Allah Himself said, as How can I compute that? Imagine, I always tell to the youth, imagine you go to a king, a generous king. Okay? And you go to him and tell him, I did that for you. Will he give you $10? Can I believe that even? Can it come to my mind that this king give me $10? 20? 100? I'll start, if I go to a king, a rich king, I'll start with a million at least. Come on, million, 10 million. He's a king, he's rich. He is, he is. Imagine Allah himself. You do everything for him. What's the reward? What's the reward? If someone tells me the reward, the reward is his mercy and his acceptance to every one of us. 
اللهم اهدنا في من هديت اللهم اهدنا في من هديت اللهم تقبل منا رمضان واقبله لنا وسلمه يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا اللهم بلغنا ليلة القدر اللهم بلغنا ليلة القدر اللهم بلغنا ليلة القدر اللهم انك عفو كريم تحب العفاف عنا اللهم انك عفو كريم تحب العفاف عنا اللهم اجعلنا من عتقائك من النار اللهم اجعلنا من عتقائك من النار ومن المقبولين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي عليكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة